Let's learn how to create uh, div tags with CSS in Adobe Dreamweaver 2015. In this session, we'll go through step-by-step uh, step how to create a basic web layout with a basic container or wrapper div and a, a few divs inside of it. So really, uh, the goal that I've got in mind is, is to create um, a container div that will be centered in the middle of my browser window. Inside of that, I'll put a header a navigation bar and a couple of columns below it because that's a, a pretty basic layout um, that's very 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 common today so a header a nav and a couple of, of columns it's all resides inside of a container to start um, I've already established a root folder in my files panel so I'm actually gonna go to file save as and I'm gonna save this as div demo .html. And, uh, and the process for doing this is we create our CSS first, and then we uh, create our div second. We, we do the CSS rules first, and then we create the div and apply the CSS to it. Um, so I'll go to my CSS designer. I'll start by making a new source, and I'm going to create a new CSS file. I'm going to call this stylesheet.css stylesheet.css and I'll hit OK. Note that whenever you create a style sheet uh, you'll have to go to file save all from now on instead of just save because you have two files that need to be saved. You see the asterisks there showing me that uh, neither one of these files has been saved. So uh, next after I've got my style sheet made I'll go to my selectors and I'll hit new uh, the plus symbol. I'll start this first one with a uh, container, so I'll call it dot container, a class called container. I'll hit enter, and for my properties, I know that there are four basic properties that uh, normally go on a container. Um, if I start here with layout, uh, the four properties I want are width, background color, uh, margin, and overflow of hidden. And I know that from previous experience of coding these many, many times. So the width, I'm going to make this 955 pixels. So I'll have to choose PX for pixels, 955. Um, I'm going to go down to the background category. This icon goes, uh, leads us to the background. And I'm just going to make all of these shades of gray just so I can see them. It's so much easier to see a div uh, if it's got a background color, especially in Dreamweaver. So I can always take the colors off later, but I'm all about colors on all of the divs today. Um, if I go to the uh, layout category again, I'll have to scroll down a bit, and I really want margin of auto, and it really has a strange looking area for, for margin here. Um, if I click on, on any of these PX, I've got all these different choices, and auto is the one I want. I really want auto to be on all four sides. Now if I click this chain link icon, um, it, it'll allow me to change one and it'll change all four. So really I just need auto on the left and right to center it in the middle of my browser window, but I'm going to go and do it on all four. It'll just be margin of auto. The last option I need, the fourth option here, is going to be overflow. Now when we do it in code, we generally just say overflow hidden. Uh, but in this case, they break it down into Overflow X and Overflow Y. Their drop-down menus, I'm going to choose Hidden on both. And Overflow of Hidden makes our background color show up no matter uh, whether there's content really in this container div or not. So it's just a nice feature that we'd normally put on a container or a wrapper like this. So the four things I established from the drop-down menus. You and finding these in the drop-down menus is probably the hardest part of this because there's so many properties and values to choose from here. If you'd rather type them in, you can always click Show Set. I'm sorry. Uh, if you go to, what is it? Yeah, if you click on More and go to uh, Uncheck Show Set, you ought to be able to just type in those instead of having to pull them down from a menu. So in any case, I'm ready to insert my div tag. So I'll have to go up to the Insert panel. Assuming you've got HTML as your first option here, div is the, the first one there. So I'll just make sure my cursor is, is really the only place it can be. And it's a starting point. I'll click on Div. Insert, Add Insertion Point is the one I want. Class, 
If you, if you made a class for the container, you'll do class container. If you made an ID instead, you would choose it ID uh, from this list here. But I did a class, and I'll hit OK. It drops my container in. It's kind of hard to see on this very small window, but it, it is there. Um, Dreamweaver puts a little dash line around it to let me know that it's a div. That's how it highlights divs. And it does put a line of text in there. And the reason it does that is because without text, there's really no height to a div. Um, as a matter of fact, if I try to delete the text in there right now, it makes my div very, very, very thin and actually very hard for me to, to even type in. So I'm going to leave the text there for now. I can delete it when I get real content, but it's a nice thing to, to have in there now so I can see it. So I'll go to File, Save All. And I'd also like to go ahead and preview this in a browser. So I'll go down to Preview in Browser. Um, when I look at this in a large browser, larger than what will fit in this video window, I can see that Indeed is centered in the middle of my browser window here. It's a little wider than the video screen, but it is working. So I am ready now to go create the other divs that go inside of this. Um, and we can do this a few ways. We can do the new HTML5 header tag instead of doing a div header or even doing the navigation. But I'm going to stick to the, the standard HTML4 method uh, just because that still works. And uh, when I do it the code way, I'll generally use the, the new HTML5. But we're okay for now. Uh, sticking with divs. I'll do the same process. I'll go to my CSS designer panel. I'll make sure my stylesheet.css is selected. I'll click on the new selector button and I'll say dot header. And for rows like headers and navigation areas, they generally just have a width and a height. So I'll come back down here to my layout. Um, I'll choose width. It's going to be the same width as my container, 955. For the height, I'm just going to make up a number here and uh, I'll say 125 pixels. 125. Those are the only two things you have to do on a, on a div that makes a row, like a, a navigation or a header. Um, I am, again, going to go ahead and put a background color on it because I want to make sure that I can see what I'm doing tonight. So I'm going to go put a slightly darker background color on it, or any color that you want. Now really, I want that, that header to go right up here at the top of this div. So I'm going to put my mouse up here, right before the, the words content for class container goes here. Um, if you can't get your mouse right there, get, get as close as you can. Use your arrow keys on your keyboard to, to get yourself just inside that container div. Then I'm going to go to Insert div add insertion point and class will be header and now I've got a header div in there I'll move right along to my next one I'll go to CSS designer I'll make sure style sheet is selected for selectors I'm gonna make a new one and call it dot nav um, I'll go to the layout icon. Again, I'll give it a width and height, and my nav is also going to have the same width, 955 pixels. The height is going to be a lot less than that. I'm going to make it about 35 pixels. And I'd like to give it a background color. And this will make it really, really light gray, almost white. And I'm done with my CSS rule. Those are the only things I want to put on it. So I'll come back up here and put my mouse right after the header tag, or the, the header div, and right before the content for class container goes here. I'll go to Insert, Div, and I'll choose Nav. And it drops my navigation in there. And then notice it puts a line of text in every div. I can replace that with my images or slices or more text, anything I want. I can replace that later. I've got, now I want to put two columns underneath this. And uh, for columns, the only things they have to have are width and float in order to make them align side by side. Um, you could optionally put things like background colors or margins or padding or spacing, anything like that. You can, you can put anything like that on there. But I'm going to stick to the basics, uh, width, float, and background color. And just for a visual reference, I'll put a min height on there, minimum height. 
So we're going to go to our CSS designer panel. Same thing. I'm going to click style sheet, new selector, and I'll call this dot C1 for column one. Column one. And the two things I need are width and float. Assuming I've got a 955 pixel container, um, I'm just going to make this math real easy on myself. I'm going to make the first column 700 pixels wide, and I'll make the second column 255, because 700 and 255 add up to 955, and that's really what I want. I'll have to scroll down a bit to find float, and it doesn't actually say left, right, or center. It's little icons here. If you hover over the icons, it'll say left, right. I'm sorry, not left, right, or center. Left, right, or none. Um, those are my two choices, left or right. This one's going to be my leftmost column, so I'll say left. And then I'll go down to the background area and apply a background color to this as well. And for this one, I'll add a little shade of blue. So that div is going to go right here where it says class for content container goes here. I'll put my mouse after the nav, but but still inside the container right there. Insert div class c1 okay now at this point i'm going to go ahead and do a file save all and go back to my browser uh, and preview this and again it's really hard to see on these little bitty video windows but it is all centered in the middle of the screen the headers at the top the navs below that content uh, for class c1 goes here it says that's that's my column one and I can see what's left of the container over here stacking to the right of that so I know that the column one is working column two will fit into this area momentarily um, I do just for visual representation want to make column one a little taller now, I don't want to put a height on it though because if I put a height that's really going to constrain whatever content that I put in it and I'm not really sure how much content I'm going to have in there I may have a little I may have a lot so I don't want to constrain that by putting a height, but I can put a min height. Min height stands for minimum height, and that will simply allow me to visually see how tall it is without putting any content in it or worrying about if it's tall enough. So I'll go back to the C1. Um, I'm going to go to layout towards the top here, and min height is there. And I'm going to put a min height of about 300 pixels. And that'll make it tall enough for me to see. All right, I'm happy with that. Save all. The last thing I need here is a second column. So I'll go to make my next CSS rule, my last one actually. CSS designer will be style sheet, selectors, new, and I'll call it dot C2. Same thing, the width uh, we established earlier was going to be 255 pixels for this one. The min height, I'll make the same as the other. 300 pixels will work. And a background color would be nice. I'll make this one kind of a lighter green. So now the hard part, getting my mouse just in the right spot here in Dreamweaver after column one, but before the container closes. Insert div class C2, OK. Oh, you know what we forgot? We didn't add a float on there. You were probably thinking, hey, why isn't he adding a float? He said he was going to, uh, because I forgot. That's why. If we go back and highlight that div, if you get right on the edge of the div, you should be able to uh, highlight the whole thing. We want to add a float to this so that it actually will line up next to column one. Um, and we'll get to that through layout. And we got to scroll down a bit to see float. And this time, we'll choose right. And Dreamweaver starts looking better for us. Looks like it's going to line up. We'll do a save all and go back to our browser and refresh it. And all is well. My header looks good. My nav is there. Um, I've got content. I've got two columns that stack nicely. The only thing I need to do is take out all of these content goes here lines that Dreamweaver puts in. And I can start putting in my own stuff. My own paragraphs, my own images, uh, slices from Photoshop even. 
and uh, that will just that'll get me pretty far. So hopefully this helps out a lot with layouts with Dreamweaver. Um, as a quick summary, make your CSS rule first, insert your div second, and I'll make sure you apply that CSS rule to the div as you're doing that. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I uh, will see you next time.